Good day class! For today's lesson, we will discuss the determining the worth of ideas in a listening text to make simple inferences. Now, before we proceed to the discussion, let's try to analyze what is this illustration all about. The student in the illustration is considering five different options. What did he pick out of the five options and what do you think he will do with those things? Okay, so he chose a laptop, an internet, and a cell phone as the three most important things because he could use them all to go to his online class. Now, it doesn't matter if he needs the module because modules can be found on his laptop. Also, the same goes for popcorn. It's a good snack to have but popcorn is not necessary in this case. In the same way, when we read, we keep only the important things. Making sense of the text and getting toward understanding requires determining important concepts and information in it. For example, an author can provide a lot of information, but as a reader, you must decide on which knowledge is the most important for learning. However, this could be a challenge in listening where possible distractions may occur, such as when the speaker speaks softly or quickly. Now, to eliminate these distractions, you must first learn how to connect to the speaker. Okay, so in this lesson, you will know more about determining the worth of ideas mentioned in a listening text using the CAST method, which stands for First, context, meaning the location and time the speech held. Second is audience, meaning the people who listen to the speech. Third is speaker, which means the person giving the message or speech. The fourth one is tone or mood or the attitude or feelings expressed by the speaker. And lastly, the summary, which means the main points of the speech. So this will guide you in making inferences about the thoughts and feelings expressed in the text you listen to. Now, an inferences are guesses you make by combining two things, the details or information from the text and your prior knowledge or your personal um, experiences. These inferences will help you figure out what the speaker was trying to say. Now, while listening, you will process the information delivered by the speaker to formulate your inferences. You will also reflect on the message for you to understand the context and impact of the speech. And in making inferences, you might be thinking of the following questions. Number one, what is the purpose of the speaker in delivering the speech? Number two, how did the message change me after I have listened to it? And number three, is the message new to me? How can I share this knowledge to other people? And now, to better understand the CAST method, Teacher Aubrey will discuss it with you. First one, context guide questions. Where did the speech take place? When did the speaker deliver the speech? How do other participants react to the speech? So, how to come up with your influences? Describe the speech based on your prior knowledge. Explain the significance of the location and time. Where the speech was held. Example, the speech was held in the school at 8 in the morning as part of the opening program. Next is the audience. Guide questions who is intended audience. What age range or group do they belong? Do they have similarities? Are they coming from a group or organization? Steps. Describe the audience participation in the speech. Explain why they are intended alternates based on the text you have listened to. Example, students from Buenaventura Landi National High School, BANHS, 
will be the audience for the dance competition. Next is the speaker. Guide question. What position does he or she have in a group or organization? How important is his or her presence in giving the speech? Steps. Describe the background information you know about the speaker. Example. The speaker is the principal of BANHS who is very supportive of such events. Next is the tone or mood. What words need the speaker use that you made you feel the emotion portrayed in the speech? Is the speaker fearful, angry, surprised, serious, or humorous? Steps. Write the words that you make feel about the speech describe your emotion that you felt after listening to the text example the speaker is excited since she announced that the contest winner will receive prizes the last one is summary what salient or important points that the speaker mentioned in his or her speech what is the central message that the speaker wants to convey? How to come up with your influences? List down all your thoughts, insights, and opinions about the points that the speaker has mentioned. Example, the speaker delivered a message regarding the division's upcoming dance com contest. His students from BA and HS will compete and I believe they will win the competition like they did last year as she mentioned. Now let's try to listen to an excerpt from President Rodrigo Duterte's SONA 2020 and fill out the graphic organizer. Until the COVID-19 vaccine is available I will not allow the traditional face-to-face -face teaching or learning unless the risk of exposure to the sickness and are eliminated. I cannot and will not put to rest the health and lives of our students and teachers. About two weeks ago, I, I, I I seem to have said that uh, uh, I would allow the face-to-face -face, uh, classes to resume. But we were talking actually of January because my thinking is that uh, by September we would have the vaccine. How to get it from the producers or from other governments is really something which uh, we have to deal with because everyone, the, 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 it's, it's a global need and everyone will go for it. Okay, now let's try to identify and make inferences using the task method. What do you think is the context or location or the time of the speech? The correct answer is the speech was held at Batasang Pabansa last July 2020. Now, who is the audience? The speech is for all Filipinos. Who is the speaker? The speaker is our President Rodrigo Duterte and talks about the SONA 2020. Next one is the tone and mood. So the speaker is serious as they announce no face-to-face -face classes. Last one is the summary. The speaker delivered a message regarding no face-to-face -face classes until COVID-19 vaccine is available. Remember the importance of a flying cast method to determine the word of ideas and listening text was emphasized in this lesson. You can utilize the method 
to make simple inferences from the details provided in the text, which is especially useful when summarizing the speaker's message. The formula here for you to remember how to make inferences is details or evidences from the text plus the prior knowledge and your personal experiences is equals to your inference. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you very much and we hope that you learned something for today. Mm -hmm.